Finding the right words to say how you feel can sometimes be hard. But what if you're one of Britain's 600,000 stammerers? <laughs> Stammering is a debilitating affliction which impacts their lives every single day. He's so nervous about saying his vows and doing a speech at the wedding. I need, I need, I need a voice, I need to be heard. But now, to tackle their stammers head on... Stammer, stammer, I can't even say that word. They've enrolled on an intense four-day speech therapy course run by Gareth Gates. Hit these sounds. Imagine you're knocking these words down. At the end of the course, they'll have to face an audience and deliver a fluent speech. Well, Gareth's job is to make that happen. Don't give a shit about anybody. It's about you now, OK? And it's about you overcoming this. But can he teach them to break a habit uh, of a lifetime? I understand how frustrating it is. I completely understand. And confront their greatest fears <laughs> to transform their lives forever. I genuinely really want this. Simon has had a severe stammer his whole life. Sometimes I felt as the I've been through like, and 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 hell and um back with this. That's really good, Libby. It's lovely. Oh, try again. Sprint it straight away again. Twenty-five-year-old Sarah Webster has also stammered since early childhood. It has affected every aspect of her life, including her decision to become a nanny. For me, it's about the interaction with the with the ch the, ch the ch children, and and when I'm with them, I'm just so much more at ease. Well, that has come out well. I feel that my stammer does, just Duh. does not play such a large, you know, does not affect me so much at all. But even her choice of job is not without complications. There are certain words that I know that I will stammer on. For instance, the, the word... I can't say nannying. Um, I try and use... Well, I try and avoid that word so that I... so that I don't have to embarrass myself. But now, Sarah and Simon are embarking on an unusual speech therapy course called the Maguire Programme. I've had qu quite a few um, years of um, speech therapy. <laughs> and it hasn't ever helped this... Well, here's my last hope. The programme takes a radical approach to speech therapy. Its courses are just four days long and are run exclusively by people who stammer themselves. Sarah and Simon's course leader is the actor, singer and voice coach, Gareth Gates. The course is a very intense four-day program and it's about us giving these guys everything they need to help gain control of their stammer. Gareth also grew up with a stammer. It was the Maguire program which turned his life around. The thought of a stammerer helping to coach and teach other stammerers to speak 
is quite mind-blowing. And I reached a certain level on the programme where I thought, well, maybe it's time to give back. And I absolutely love it. Joining Sarah and Simon on the course are students from across the country, including Matthew, Rory and Mohammed. My challenge is to take these people and to equip them with the tools and techniques that they need to transform their lives. Thank you. Welcome, new students. This is the last time that you guys will be speaking like this. And from this moment on, you're going to be speaking with so much control. Am I nervous about it? Of course. There's a lot of pressure on me. But I want it to be a success because I know how much of a difference in life it will make. It's the night before the course begins. And in just four days' time, the new students will be expected to deliver a fluent speech in front of an audience. But right now, that seems like a long way off. Do you have any brothers or sisters? Yes, I have. Three, three. I have um, two sisters and three brothers. Um, I'm, uh, I'm, 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 I'm 20 years old. My address is f flat 55. I am convinced. Well done, mate. Let's hear it. Well done. Well done, fella. Well done, well done. Attention to and my eyes um, shut. I found it hard, yeah, real hard. Simon lives in North Yorkshire with his partner, Sarah, and their two children. I can do the bullseye. Being a parent who stammers brings its own worries. Don't eat it. Simon often gets scared that it's going to affect the children's speech, and well, um, like reading say. bedtime stories. He prefers Edward. me to do things <laughs> like that because it will take him so much longer, and I can see him getting frustrated with himself, and it it does upset me as well yeah. because of how frustrating it must be for Simon. Right, Sheldon, um, and. Um, Close Next year, Simon and Sarah are planning to get married. I think he's so nervous about saying his vows and doing a speech at the wedding, but he can't give up on doing things just because of his stammer. To infinity and beyond. Of a con and be um, Build to control my um, 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 son. Damn it, it would um, mean um, everything. It's day one of the course. This morning, Gareth will begin to rebuild the new students' voices. But first, he has to break down their old ones. Now is a brand new start. We're going to strip back everything. We're going to learn to talk again, starting with learning a new way of breathing. Every time somebody speaks, it starts with a breath. And so that's what we're going to address first and teach them a new way, a more powerful way of breathing that will assist our new speaking technique. To help the new students get a feel for this, they wear belts around their chests. When we breathe in, the ribs move out. We breathe out, the ribs move in. So we breathe when we want to breathe. We speak when we want to speak. OK? 
Okay, we're no longer dictated by our stammers. This technique is called costal breathing. So breathe in three, two, one, and breathe. If they can master it, Gareth believes even the most severe stammer can be brought under control. Really fill those lungs so they can't be filled anymore. But it involves reprogramming everything they know about speech. For so long, the stammers dictated who they are and when they speak and how they speak. Now it's about those individuals taking control themselves. Today, the new students will spend up to 12 hours working on this new technique. Good. It's really important that we just start to be disciplined and committed to ourselves and we start to follow directions. So nobody talking at all. It's important that the new students do not talk because it's just second nature for them to talk the way they've spoke all their lives. And so we ask them not to talk at all so that they don't slip back into those old habits. Living with a stammer is real hard work. It's frustrating, soul-destroying. You can't be the person that you want to be. I made out I didn't know the name of my, my school for years. People had asked me, what school do you go to? Oh, I uh, can't remember. To save the humiliation of going <laughs> lower fields, you know? And I'd rather look stupid and dumb and thick as opposed to stammer in front of people. And again, that's, that's quite hard. I... Uh... I really want to help people who are, um, um, who are really in need. Gareth has come a long way since the 17-year-old schoolboy first stepped onto our screens. Uh, my name is, uh, oh, come on, man. Uh, just take this on. Gareth Gates is what I was trying to say. And watching that, I hardly recognise myself. Yeah. When you're ready. Everybody's looking for that something. You are 100% coming to London. Yes. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Gareth's overnight success was a dream come true, but it also put his voice under the most intense pressure. I've always had great confidence in delivering a song. But it was the everyday life stuff that I struggled with. He enrolled on the Maguire programme. And, and has never looked back. Life for me these days is much better than 10 years ago. And I can now be the person I want to be. So on the board there is this basic cycle of speaking. This is what we follow every time we speak. Once they've got to grips with a new way of breathing, we will add sounds to that. But there's a perfect timing point, and if they miss that, the technique won't work. The perfect timing point where we speak is now. OK? In three, two, one. Ah, good. We'll say every sound of the alphabet so that it affirms to themselves that they can say every sound. Good. Hit these sounds. Imagine you're knocking these words down. Alpha, Foxtrot, India, Juliet, Mike. Good. You can say every sound. So it's not a physical defect. It's just these building up of negative experiences, negative associations. Stammering is thought to be brought on by a number of different causes. For some, it's to do with the way the brain processes speech. For others, it could result from trauma. But in some cases, it may also be hereditary. For 16-year-old Rory Melly, stammering runs in the family. Rory's been stammering since he was three years old. And, and it was like, all of a sudden, in one sentence, one day, and he was trying to ask me something, and he just started stammering. And coming from a family who stammer, it was quite a shock. 